I like the trusties. <laughs>
our economy and not having any employment out there for a whole lot of people. I think this will be valuable, really valuable for me because I already have um, ideas of how, what I'm going to do with the training and the skill that I got from the training. So yeah, it's really going to be of good value for me. Like most of us, now, when we want to do things, especially from the hood, we have this notion of you gotta pay. If you don't got money, you won't achieve that skill. So if you have like initiatives like this, where you are able to come by yourself and not have to pay anything, it's good because who was gonna teach me how to sew? You know, for free, uh, nobody was gonna do that. So things like this are good for the community. Only if you are aware, because there's a lot of people who wish they could sue, but they didn't see the same goals that they From the start, I never sue Then <laughs> Good fashion for change we also have or I can say we accommodate um, people with disability. So we also have the Native members from Techford. It's a, a disability training center. So what we do is we we also source um but from that side. And it's a bit challenging and interesting at the same time because when you're not used to hold you can go to our disability. It's not easy. So at the same time, I'm also learning something from them. Um, in my personal experience, or what would I say is, you know, I think it goes as an individual, what kind of a person you are, and um how much you want to do this for yourself and for other people. You know, it's not really a problem. It's all about understanding and being able to understand the certain person that you're working with and their disability and understanding that there can be maybe things that they cannot do at that point or they're gonna need more time for them to adapt, you know. So, and they tend to forget and they tend to like phase away and you find them, you know. So being distracted is what you have to be very, very cautious about. And you must have patience. It starts with being patient with a certain individual. And you must always remember that this person is not at the same level as I am because I've done this before. And the person who was tutoring me was also very patient with me. It's not like, you know, things that you learn, you we learn this, right? It's not like you came from home and you were just good at what you do. So it's all about being able to teach, have patience and have the love for the craft to a point that you, you're not going to be disappointed at what fault. You know, you just have to be patient and have the love and just show respect and teamwork. And then you're good to go, you know. And they also looking at you as a person who knows. And if you don't understand, you just say, let's pause, let me go and be fair. So when I come back, we'll show off what we're doing because I'm also learning. As much as I'm teaching you right now, certain things that I've been taught, it might happen that I forgot some of them. So let me go back and, and, and be fair and then we're giving straight, correct information going forward. That's, that's that. Like, I, I wanted to come here because I knew what I can get uh, not just the skill to sew, but I can get the skill to talk with people because you're not going to make clothes for cows and dogs and make clothes for people. So it's better to interact with people, know what people love, this style, because I won't be making clothes for me, I'm going to be making for somebody else. So it was good. It's good. It's a good initiative. <laughs> Actually, the reason I'm here, I joined, is because of I want to learn what I don't know and I want to also grow this out of it. And I've been wanting to open a boutique whereby I sew my own clothes. Yeah. Um, what we normally do is we create garments out of what we have, like um, out of the off that we have, 
like you can create any garment with anything. It can be a plastic, it can be um, stones, leaves, it doesn't matter. It has been a very good experience and I just kept on evolving, I just kept on growing because during the first program I didn't know anything at all. Literally I didn't know how to cut material, I didn't know how to use a sewing machine. I got training on that and I ended up mastering it because now I can design my own clothes with garment. But I can now design my own garment and what I'm learning now is I'm just adding to my experience. For the first time in my life, I'm giving an opportunity to see garments that are going to be showcased at the fashion show. And this time it was different because we're using recycling material, which teaches us that fashion does not limit us. You can always use anything. Literally, you can use a, t a, a tree trunk. Literally, you can use plastic, literally you can use recyclable grocery bags, that's what I'm learning and I um, just keep on growing and getting out of my comfort zone. From the training I actually made a very beautiful dress, not body hiking and it's very comfortable. Those are the, it's the type of clothing that I love for myself and I think a whole lot of people will actually be comfortable in what I made so I will make more of those and start selling dresses and with the matric dance um, approaching I think I will have ready to wear dresses as well for matriculants and um, yeah I'm, I think I'm just gonna I've, I've been selling clothes already so I'm just gonna have a collection of mine something that uh, I think women of my age will be comfortable in and I'll start doing a whole lot of those and start selling. Yeah. Honestly speaking, I'm not really nervous, but because it's the first time I'm doing this, I just told myself that even though I'm doing it for the first time and I don't have much experience of it, I'm just going to embrace my creativity. So I'm not really nervous about it. I honestly am willing to learn because I won't be the only one showcasing my garments. They will also be at the designing showcasing what they're capable of doing. So I'll actually be learning from them and basically patching up there and there from what I could embrace from my own skills. It's <laughs> about so time they get it from me. So that's who I am. I like, you know, I love I love problems because they bring solutions. Yeah. If you only see problems, you're going to attract more problems. But if you see solutions, everything will be good. Yeah. Ah, I'm happy. I'm excited about the fashion show. Uh, we're going to showcase what we made here. And yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. To be honest, it's exciting and scary at the same time. Because now, remember, you're going to be showcasing your own work. Um, and I've been very, very, very um, looking forward to it. And I've been attending fashion shows myself, you know, for Instagram. And it's, it's very fulfilling knowing that you can see people doing such a way that you are able to do yourself. And it gives you uh, the confidence to say, if these people are able to, to, to do, to do this, I can also do it, you know. Um, I'm very confident, number one, and number two, I'm excited. Number three, I can't wait for my garments to be showcased. I can't wait to see my, my designs worn by a certain person and people see my work, you know. It's so nice knowing that you're doing something that's going to be seen by the world, and it's so nice to know that you'll be recognized on a particular day, even if it's not by the whole world, but someone will just say, oh, this is Rufino's work. This is what she's been going there for, you know. And I seriously see myself doing more. If the opportunity is, 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 is handed on and someone says, look, I'm willing to do this for you so that you can continue and do what you love, I'm game. Skills, skills, skills. Right now we need to equip ourselves with um, what is aligned with what we like, actually, because uh, we've been very like focused on uh, academics and finding jobs and you know 
But right now we need to skill ourselves in, yeah, in various uh, trainings. I mean, we have a whole lot of um, material at our disposal. Like we have tutorials on YouTube, and we just need to skill ourselves. And yeah, things will <laughs> things will work out for us, really. I see myself having the house of cases. You know, I see myself probably at the same level or above Gucci and Balenciaga and you know, Louis Vuitton and um, yeah, I mean, you know, if visual outlaw achieve this, I'm achieve double it. You know, double X or Y, you know, two X's. You never know what's gonna happen. My ministry is doubled up. So I see myself really, really I won't even be called a South African, I might be called an African fashion designer. They will forget that I'm a South African. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to represent the continent. <laughs> With garments. Eh, no, 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 Oh, what I can say to Basa or other funders. Okay, I would like to be funded again. Because to be honest, you know, in our community, like, um, but we haven't had any like skills, you understand? So I think if I can be funded for this project, the Iranam, things will be better, not for me, but also for Batavahona.